If you wish to go straight on a roundabout, then as a general rule, keep in the left lane on the approach and on the roundabout and do not indicate until you are past the first exit. Then indicate to let people know that you're exiting the roundabout going straight ahead. But what I find with a lot of learner drivers is that they're probably okay on the approach. So they're in the left lane on the approach, but then suddenly once they're on the roundabout, they try and go into the right lane and presumably then they'd want to exit off in the middle of the roundabout. Um, that's quite dangerous and it's against the rules of the road. So let's have a closer look at what I mean now by, by uh, looking at this uh, diagram here. So I had a few lessons there over the last two or three weeks and I noticed this problem popping up uh, quite a few times. Let's say the learner driver is the blue car. So we'll bring it back a little bit here. So I would say to the learner, let's take the second exit to go straight. Now, on the approach, I would usually point out the signs. So for example, here, you can see the second exit here for Dublin is straight. So it's the arrow is pointing straight up. It's definitely 12 o'clock. It's not over here where Dunlear is or over here Longford. It's not to the right of 12 o'clock. So because it's absolutely dead straight, that means we must use the left lane, unless the markings or signs say otherwise. So what I find is, the last couple of weeks, the few learners that I'm referring to, they've, they've come down in the left lane fine, they've no problem here. They're all up um, in the correct lane like this, no problem there. And they're watching to the right, making sure there's no cars coming from here. And then when it's safe to go, in, instead of following this line like my finger here, what I've found is they go like this into the right lane where the red line is and then suddenly what they want to do presumably here is change off there now i don't let that happen when i see them trying to go into the right hand lane i say hang on a second there now you know you can't you can't be chopping and changing lanes in the middle of a busy roundabout i usually just gently guide the wheel and get them back on track here but this and i presume what they're trying to do is go in here and then suddenly when they get here then just suddenly cut off like that and go like that I'm not really sure why, to be honest with you, um, but it's a slightly slightly mad thing to do, to be honest with you, but there you go, that's the world we live in. But they understand afterwards when I explain to them, so I'll just bring this back a little bit here now. So, now, as I said, I'm not really sure why they decide to embark on this course of action. It could be because they've turned right on a roundabout previously. It could be because they cannot see the exit. So you can clearly see the first exit here, but maybe because they can't see the second exit because it was on a very big roundabout. Maybe that's the reason to go into the right lane. I, I don't really know, to be honest with you, but as I said, it, it gets cleared up in the end. Anyway, here's what should happen. So stay in the left lane, showing good lane discipline. And when you get around this stage here, so when you get a couple of car, car lengths from the line, <clears throat> watch out for the curve. See this curve here? So it's very important that you give the wheel a little bit of a turn to the left so that that encourages you to keep left. And that can be make, can make all the difference because if that red car doesn't do that, he might end up in this in the wrong lane, in the middle lane here. So we're in the left lane, make sure there's nobody coming. Um, presume it's okay, no indicator. So we follow the line like this line here, no indicator. And then when we just get to about here then, then we indicate left keeping in the left lane, showing good lane discipline, not, not cutting across into the red lane like that, either here or here, staying in the left lane like my finger is here, and then staying in the left lane along here, making sure to get a few mirror checks as well because there could be cars coming down this way as well, um, keeping in the left lane and off we go then keeping the indicator on. So that's how it should be done. Of course there are exceptions to this. So if the road signs and the markings on the road um, explain to you that you must use the right-hand lane to go straight, then that's what must happen. Here's an example of me now using the right-hand lane to go straight. So as I was saying, you normally stay in the left lane to go straight, but there are exceptions. If we have a look at this sign here, the green sign on the left, you'll see that's instructing me to stay in the right lane actually to go straight. So that's what I'm gonna do now and check my mirrors. To go across into the right lane you can see the arrow down there as well telling me that i'm in the right lane to go straight and as i'm coming up i am uh, checking the right a few times making sure it's all clear it's all fine there so according to this to the marking sign i'm in the right hand lane going straight 
Just checking the mirrors, indicating left to leave it. And then just, just a quick glance over the shoulder, everything is fine. So that was an example there of where you'd be in the right lane for going straight because the markings and the traffic sign um, dictated me to do so. If you come across a particularly large roundabout like this, you'll notice that it has multiple lanes on the approach and multiple lanes on and on the exit of the roundabout. So this is where, again, there could be an exception where you may not need to stay in the left lane. So if you look at the road markings here, it clearly says here you could be in the middle lane here, the middle lane, um, to go straight. So in which case you'd stay in the middle lane here. Of course you can be in this one either, depends on the depends on where you're going. So the middle lane, um, obviously make sure everything's okay on the right, and then you come up like this. Now you can go into this one, which brings you straight, or you can go further up into this one here, which brings you straight here as well. Showing good lane discipline, staying between the white lines, and then exiting in this lane here, where my finger is, this one. Okay, um, again, that's the importance of following the white lines, showing good lane discipline. And even if you look over here, so if you were coming from this side, you could see that you could be in either of these middle lanes. So you could be in the third lane from the left here, see the arrow there, um, for going straight as well. And then following the markings on it, you can see it here as well, and then exiting in the right-hand lane, um, the right-hand lane of two, I mean. So it all depends on the markings and the signs, but there are exceptions. I mean, as I said to you at the start, Generally speaking, you stay in the left lane um, when you're going straight. But there are exceptions, as you can see here, on these larger roundabouts with multiple lanes. So that would be the exception rather than the rule. As I always say, it depends on the road signs and the road markings in the area that you're driving. Um, so pay close attention to local signs and markings. But generally speaking, the proper way is to keep left if you're going straight on a roundabout. So you would slow down early and gradually, get down the gears in good time, be aware of the queues building up and of what the traffic is like on the right. Um, don't indicate, keep left and indicate at the correct time to exit the roundabout. So here's me doing that um, earlier on, going straight on a roundabout, the second exit to go straight. So I'm coming to a roundabout here now, you can see the signs there the yellow ones and the green ones there. My plan is to take the second exit to go straight. So I'll make sure I keep left and show good lane discipline. So I'm just glancing at my mirrors as, as I slow down, getting down to fourth gear, gently off the clutch. Now I'm keeping an eye on the markings up there as well, confirming I must stay in the left lane to go straight. Looking out for the curve as well there, as the road kind of veers off to the left a little bit. Getting the fuel looks in. A bit busy, so I'll get down to second gear. Um, I'm going to just kind of stop there now, go into first gear, and looks like I can go there now, just double checking, now I'm keeping the wheel like this, you see, staying in the left lane, there's a guy beside me there, I don't want to cut across to him, checking the mirrors, the old overtaking mirror over there as well, everything looks good, and everything is all safe, and once I'm safely through the roundabout then, I can flick off my indicator there now. So what I did there was, I was aware of the traffic, I was aware of the curve, going to the left so that's why I kept the wheel slightly left and I showed good lane discipline uh, it's very important if you start in the left lane stay in the left lane going straight obey the signs and markings so again I'll be taking the second exit to go straight on this roundabout and I'll be showing good lane discipline I'll be aware of the curve on the left I'll also be aware of other cars on my right and getting down the gears in time so as I come up towards the roundabout now, you can see the sign there on the left, the yellow sign, so that's your first warning. So that could be a hint maybe to maybe to slightly de-accelerate. Another sign there saying that I'm gonna lose a lane here now, so I'm gonna glance at my mirrors there. It's okay, there's nobody there, and everything is okay there then. So as I'm coming up here then, check my mirrors will slow down, I'm getting down the gears, and I'll be going for the left lane then um, to go straight. So just check my mirrors to make sure there's nobody beside me there. Getting down the second gear, and even at this early stage, I'm keeping an eye on the right there, just to make sure, um, to be aware of what, what the story is of traffic. And you can see the curve up there, so that's why my wheel is slightly going this way, to get ready for that. So I'm just going to first gear now, because it's very slow. So I'm in the left lane, my wheel is left. Um, looking okay over there, everything's fine. I was just, the sun glare was a bit awkward there, but it was fine. Staying in the left lane there now, so mirrors, 
indicate left. Also keep an eye on that over overtake mirror there as well. Make sure my indicator stays on and everything is okay. So I made sure there to show good lane discipline. So I kept left on the approach, made sure I kept in the middle of my lane while I was on the roundabout so as not to obstruct other cars. And of course indicated left as I exited the roundabout. So I'll be going straight on a smaller roundabout here then. There won't be two lanes on this, so I'll kind of have to stay central to left to center, depending on how wide the lane is, because all, all roundabouts are different. There's a sign anyway warning me there's a roundabout ahead. I'll be going straight, second exit to go straight, so I'm getting down the gears, check my mirrors as I do, and keep an eye on traffic there. I'm getting ready to turn my wheel a little bit this way now, you see the wheel there? Going with the curve, everything's okay there, yeah, looks fine. So I'm not indicating yet, now when I get past this one, then I indicate. Staying central, because there's a cycle lane on my left, and it wasn't the widest lane, so I stayed central there. I didn't have to worry about being in the left lane there, because it was just a one lane roundabout. A few other things to be aware of on roundabouts, if you're going straight or, or wherever you're going. Watch out for long vehicles. These could be buses or large um, Arctic trucks. So, because they're so big and cumbersome, they may end up straddling um, two lanes. So you might think they're in the left lane, but they may straddle into the right hand lane so that, it, so that they can successfully exit the roundabout. So just be careful of that because sometimes they can be a little bit unpredictable. They may, they may need a little bit of extra space. Another important tip is if you're going straight on a roundabout, for example, and the roundabout is slightly downhill, then try not to accelerate when you're approximately halfway through the roundabout. If you don't accelerate, the car will still move, but it will move at a slightly so slower pace and you will be able to focus a little bit more on your steering and your position, thereby having good lane discipline. Remember, you don't need to accelerate all the time to keep the car moving. It depends on gravity. Sometimes no acceleration on a roundabout is a great way of giving you a little bit of extra control. So let's say the blue car is going straight. So he may have to accelerate a little bit. Again, staying in the left lane, presuming everything is clear on the right, he may have to accelerate a little bit here just to get on the roundabout. But when the most significant part of the bend, which is usually just before the first exit here, and then just after the first exit here, that's usually the, the bendiest part, let's say, it can be a really good idea just to not accelerate. Just completely let go of the accelerator. If it's downhill, and sometimes if it's flat, if you have enough momentum, just let go of the accelerator between here and here and then maybe come back onto the juice pedal just to get you off. I'm not saying you have to do it. I'm not saying you must do it every time. If the, but if the roundabout is downhill or sometimes flat, no acceleration in this key part between here and here can give you more control. You can focus on the wheel more, focus on your lane discipline and maybe even it might allow you to get an extra mirror check or two in. If you do find yourself in the wrong lane, so for example, let's say you want to go straight, but you find yourself in the right-hand lane on the approach, um, the best thing to do is just to stay in that right-hand lane and then go into the right-hand lane on the roundabout and come all the way around rather than suddenly trying to change lanes when other cars could be accelerating to leave the roundabout or they could be accelerating to enter the roundabout. So let's say you're the red car here. I'll just bring it back a little bit here. I'll bring it back all the way down here because you can see there the way the white line splits uh, the lanes from one lane into two lanes. So I'll bring it back there before that white line um, develops, this one. Anyway, you're the red car. Your intention is to take the second exit to go straight. But maybe because you weren't paying attention or maybe because you got distracted, you didn't see the signs and you weren't paying close attention to the road markings. So basically, you found yourself in the right hand lane and you realize then when you get closer oh I should be in the left lane to go straight now what I'm saying is the best thing to do here is to put on your right indicator and presuming everything is all safe just go all the way around the roundabout all the way around this is where you want to go so all the way around like that a little bit of a journey but sure it's the safest thing to do and then when you get here just check the mirrors indicate left and out you go like that so I think that's a safer thing to do than, for example, bring it back here, suddenly trying to 
change lanes here, when this guy here could actually be accelerating to get onto the roundabout. He might be accelerating to get a bit of momentum going, um, to, to kind of maybe get ahead of any cars he might be worried about over here. So you trying to change lanes into the left lane as this guy is accelerating, it's probably not the best idea. And the same up here. If you decide you're here, and then you want to change lanes, you, you might have slowed down a little bit. The person here or here, again, might be accelerating to build up a bit of a head of steam to exit the roundabout. So you don't want to be changing lanes in that situation when the cars in the left lane are in the correct lane for going straight. I think the best thing, as I was saying to you, is to go all the way around, have a better idea of traffic then, and have a better idea of the, the lay of the land on the roundabout, and then exit here. Okay, rather than suddenly changing lanes. That's my advice anyway. So I'm coming to another large roundabout now. And as I was saying, if you do find yourself in the wrong lane, you're better off staying in, the, in that incorrect lane rather than trying to dramatically change lanes. So let's say, for example, I, I want to go straight on this roundabout. I want to go straight, second exit to go straight. And I mistakenly kind of misread the roundabout or something like that, and I end up kind of drifting over to the right lane like this it'll it's not a right lane as such at the moment but it'll split into two at the moment now i can see there now that i'm in the wrong lane there's also a white van close up behind me so what i'll do is i'm just going to change tact i'm going to go all the way around rather than trying to cut off in front of that white van which you'll see now checking everything's okay there not quite sure so i'll just stop and go into first gear here so there was that white van there so rather than try and jump over to the left lane there now i'm going to stay in the right lane and go all the way around. So that was my original intention to go that way, but rather than cut off there, because there could be a car behind me, there is actually, I'm gonna go all the way around, staying on the inside, close to the grass, keeping an eye on the mirror occasion as I go around. So I've gone, I've gone 360 degrees now, so I'm staying on the inside lane. Now then, so I check the mirrors indicate, mirrors again, and we're all good there. So rather than um, go across quickly or abruptly, and change lanes. I decided to stay on the inside lane there, go all the way around, and that's a safer thing to do. Because a lot of the cars, a lot of times the other cars could be accelerating to leave the roundabout, so I don't want to be changing lanes as they're accelerating to leave. I could easily cut across them. Now I want to clarify something very important because I can already hear people out there saying, sure if you're taking the third exit to the right, don't you change lanes anyway, so what's the difference? Yes, see the red car here, if he's taking the third exit to the right, he or she would change lanes to get from this inside lane to drift off and go like that. Yes, yeah, so there would be a bit of a lane change. But the difference is, the key difference is that as the red car was on its journey, it was blocking this yellow car because the red car has the right of way. So it was making him yield as he should do, making them yield. And what the red car is doing, because it was in the correct lane on the inside there, because so because it was doing that, it basically created space. So it caused them to yield and them to yield and therefore the other cars were not in as close proximity. So if we bring it back to the original way I was saying to you, I just fixed this here, sorry. Now, so you're the red car, you've realized you're in the wrong lane. So you want to go straight, but you're in the wrong lane. So my advice, stay on the inside lane like this and go all the way around and come off like this. And as you're going all the way around, what you're doing is you're creating space behind you because you're blocking these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys. You're blocking them off and therefore making it safer to change lanes at the end when you want to eventually go up here. And this is the key point that's lost on a lot of learners. So just follow this now. So I'm going around like this. As I said, I want to go here, but I'm in the wrong lane. So rather than, ra rather than cut off there, when this guy could have already came out, I keep going around, 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 like this. Now, as I'm on my journey around here, I'm blocking the blue car, I'm blocking the yellow car, because I have right of way. And because of that, this blue car is a lot further back from me, as you can see there. So there's very, very, very little chance that the blue car is suddenly gonna come up on me here and cause a crash or cause a problem. And then I exit off like this. So by going all the way around like that, what I'm doing is I'm creating space and creating a safer environment to exit the roundabout. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please let me know in the comment section some tips you might have um, about going straight on roundabouts. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos just like this. And up on screen you'll see some more similar videos now to do with roundabouts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.